This video will demonstrate proper testing of an oxygen sensor heater circuit using an ohmmeter and an amp clamp. The vehicle is a 1996 Chevy Tracker 1.6L engine with a check engine light illuminated and a code PO135 front oxygen sensor heater circuit fault. After a quick study of the wiring schematic, it shows battery feed to the oxygen sensor heater circuit comes from the black wire with the white trace. To check available voltage to the heater, set your digital volt ohm meter or DVOM to the DC volts scale. This is the position with the straight line over the V symbol. With the ignition key on and engine off, the reading is 12.3 volts, which is equal to battery voltage and within specs. The next step is to verify the heater circuit of the oxygen sensor. The schematic shows the heater circuit is between the two black wires leading to the sensor. The specification from our diagnostic procedure says the resistance should be from 11.7 to 14.3 ohms at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Set your DVOM on the ohm range scale. This is the position that looks similar to an omega sign. Our meter has an auto range feature. If yours does not, set it to the lowest scale available above 15 ohms. Touch or connect the DVOM leads to the two black wires leading to the sensor heater. The OL on this meter means out of limits or an open circuited heater element. Now the meter is reading 40.56 amp ohms, which means more than 40 million ohms of resistance. Either way, the sensor needs to be replaced. We have more information on using your ohm meter on our website under the technical section. The sensor is located at the base of the exhaust manifold behind the heat shield. With the proper socket, replacement should not be a problem. As you can see, the replacement has become a struggle. Jim is getting a little annoyed with the challenge. He will need to remove the manifold heat shield to gain better access to the sensor. Cut the wires at the old sensor and use a box wrench to gain more leverage. With the sensor out, you can see rust accumulation on the sensor threads, which cause the sensor to be tighter in the exhaust manifold than normal. Before installing the new sensor, check for anti-seize compound on the threads. In this case, the compound was supplied in a tube in the box. Apply the compound like this on the threads. Be sure not to allow the compound to find its way onto the sensor working area. An alternative way to test an oxygen sensor heater circuit is with a low amp clamp. The amperage draw on this circuit should be more than 0.22, but should not exceed 4 amps. Connect the amp clamp around the voltage feed wire in the heater circuit. Remember, in this case, it was the black white wire. With the engine running, you can see we're reading about 0.5 or 1 half amp and right in specs. The repair is a success. The only steps left are to clear the trouble code, test drive, and maybe a little fishing. 